In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how quickly you can build a functional layout on your Oxygen Builder website by using Xenon to export a Figma design. This particular video is going to assume a couple of things, namely that you already have your Figma document organized and situated with auto layouts, which is what we're using in this video. We also have gone ahead and exported all of our images and uploaded them to the media library for both examples. And then in both cases, I am not taking advantage of Oxygen Builder classes, which I would typically do on a normal install, but I wanted this to be a like for like comparison. And so you'll notice that I skip adding classes in either video. The one on the left is utilizing the Xenon tool and the video on the right is me building the layout manually. I've been using Oxygen for many years now, so I'm very experienced and can move pretty quickly in the interface. And even then I still made a few mistakes here and there. Like I already mentioned, your Figma document being organized with auto layouts is going to give you a huge leg up. So whether it's you or your designer that configures the document with auto layouts, that's going to be a huge time saving factor for you when it comes time to get that design into Oxygen. I also recognize that most contact forms in WordPress are going to be built using some sort of form plugin, but this was a design that I had for a real project and figured that it looked really nice and would be a great demonstration because it involves a lot of nested divs and colors and images. So it seemed like a great demonstration. As I'm sitting here reviewing my work, the one that I did manually, I actually overlooked that many of those divs did not actually have stroke on them. It was just the top right div. Now all the rest of them used inner shadows. And so that's why the examples look a little bit different. The one on the left differs from the one on the right, but thereby proves another point that is Xenon helps you with the accuracy of your design too. In the version on the left, the majority of your time post getting your short codes into oxygen is going to be minor cleanup, like little bits of margin here and there and small tweaks. And of course you still need to make the design responsive. The version on the right is of course starting from a blank slate like you would typically do in an Oxygen website, which means that you have to configure every single thing from the beginning. As you'll see, I'll be responsible for setting things like border radius, typographies, colors, font sizes, all those sorts of things which are completely taken care of for you utilizing Xenon. You'll notice on the left hand side, I even forgot to export one of my images from Figma. So I had to go back to Figma, export it, unzip it, upload it to the media library, and still you can see how much further ahead it is than the video on the right hand side. So at this point, I'll go ahead and share with you. It took me right around three minutes and 40 seconds to get this design out of Xenon into a fully functioning page in Oxygen. And it took me 13 minutes to do it manually. Now, of course, this is me having spent multiple years in Oxygen, like I said. So my experience will probably be much quicker than anybody new to Oxygen. And of course, if you're adding in classes in either case on the left side or the right, that's gonna take you a little bit more time. However, of course, the time spent should be nearly identical on both sides, so the time savings should scale proportionally. This effect is going to be even more amplified on larger sites where you're importing multiple pages or multiple templates. It's even possible to bring in designs to existing Oxygen Builder websites. So as you can see, after three minutes, I've barely made the first row of divs on the right-hand side manually, and I'm spending time now making minor tweaks to things like my div widths on the left-hand side where I use Xenon. So what I'll do now is go ahead and leave you with some nice ambient music and let you watch the right-hand side as I spend the time to build that out fully manually so you can see it in real time. For more information on this app, please visit xenonapp.com or click the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.